grill it in I got the bag, tell a friend She got some ass, bring it in Bitch, I'm the new CNN, yeah Hi loves, it's Robin E. And it's your girl Lady T. And we are back. So we are doing the third video in this little mini series of the recent drama between Queen Naja and her ex-husband and the father of her oldest child. Mm -hmm. So um, she released a follow-up to all the drama because you know yeah. when we did our videos at that point, she had not responded. Mm -hmm. It had just been everything coming really from Christelle's family. She's made like a few little yeah. tweets, tweets here and there or posts, mm -hmm. but she hasn't done a full-fledged video explaining the whole thing. So, mm -hmm. um, thank you to the people on our last video that were like, oh, she uploaded it and, yeah. you know. Thank um, you, thank you. Yeah, go and do a reaction to it or react to that. Um, we have not seen it, but from what we have been told, it looks like everything that we said in our video, it's almost like she confirmed, confirmed yeah, everything so. that we had speculated when you use your common sense. It's almost like she verified yeah, it. When you do your math, yeah, <laughs> it, it, just, it makes it. So we're going to go ahead and um, watch her reaction to it and then um, we'll give our comments, you know, throughout and at the end. Yep. So let me get my specs on. What's up, Reggie Squad? So by the look of What's this squad? video, Royalty Squad, you already know what oh, okay. to talk about. So I'm going to get right into the video and just tell my side of the story because I've honestly turned this camera off too many times with all these different intros and stuff like that. I'm just get straight to the point. So Queen don't care how she look when she go on camera. Right? I, mean, I, just, else, like I just love it. She Everybody She's like that too. I try to. This one was a whole face. From my mouth what actually <laughs> happened. That day was a very confusing day for me and I think that any other parent in my situation would have done the same before you know all of this happened yeah, exactly. first let's just start out yeah. by saying this we celebrated cj's birthday all right after that i knew that i was going to send cj to houston to see his dad because he had been asking to see his dad and it had been a couple months already hmm. um so, so we had already have it's been a couple of months since christine cj uh, but let the mama tell it Chris had CJ 85% of the time hmm. since they've broken up. So wow. there has been months that have went by where Queen has had CJ. Yeah. And I, I think the major difference is when Queen has CJ, it, back when she, you know, at least over the last year, she's been doing a lot of stuff with her music. Yeah. So she what they really weren't posting that much. And when they did mm -hmm. have CJ, they tried to do, you know, some videos on their personal or their joint channel okay but i think chris when he has cj he posts him a lot more than queen does is what i feel but yeah but yeah so but you know could could be misleading to the ones who don't know what's going on but make videos and uh, form their opinions mm -hmm. that he may be doing a lot of you know i'm a good dad so let's post a lot of pictures and videos etc mm -hmm. but we're gonna mm -hmm. continue no um my mom's coming to see cj and they already bought their tickets and I'm just like, well, everything's about to shut down. In my head, everything's about to shut down. So I'm like, you're probably not going to be able to come no way. So you should probably just... Now, see, that those are... Th stuff like that, that's the in-between things that I feel like when, when Cl uh, Chris's family tries to make it look like Queen doesn't shut things down, she doesn't do this. Do you know how many people make comments about the fact that Queen... Why was CJ with Chris for so long anyways? And why this... Those are the moments where you shut it down and say, mm -hmm. oh, well, he was going to go home, but my mother came out and she was nice enough mm -hmm. to let me keep him long enough to extend mm -hmm. into her time. But did the, she, did the mom mention that in her video? No. See what I'm saying? Like, Nobody, you, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Nobody shuts it down. Yeah. They let people say, oh, she don't ever have CJ. She don't ever have CJ. Because the mom's exact words were, Chris has him 85% of the time. Not so, mentioning that if Chris has him 85% of the time and if I heard her right, he had been with um, Chris for at least a couple of weeks by this point. Why are you just not going to see him? You know what I'm saying? Like, why hadn't you been like, hey, mom, getting little Wait CJ. until the end you know, of his time. We ain't seen him in a couple of months. Yeah. So that's why I said those yeah. are the things that I'm just saying that they could definitely shut stuff down. Yes. That they don't shut it down Absolutely. at all. But, Absolutely. Okay. Let me just be fair. I'm a fair person. His family haven't seen CJ in a minute. So just... Go ahead. If everything's fine, if they don't shut the airlines so down, then okay. The time. So, my plans act. 
She said his family hasn't seen his little secret, little secret in a minute. Mm-hmm. But yet he has him 85% of the time. Why? Again, to my... Baloney. <laughs> yeah. Let's go Go ahead. I'm just, you know, I want to point that out. I to talk to his dad and I was like, hey, I've seen you have people coming over and yada, yada, yada. I don't think it's the right time to be doing that. And he was like, oh, well, CJ don't be around them. No way. And, um, you know, he he was at so-and-so's house or he was upstairs or this or that. I don't know. Oh, so she didn't go on social media and blast him for that? That's my whole thing. It's, this whole thing was blown out of proportion because people said Queen it was trying to make him like a bad dad. Those moments when everybody was seeing him have these parties and these mm-hmm. TikToks and he's doing, you know, the little viral stuff and there's a million people in the house. She could have made a post then. Yeah. No, she called you and she asked you to rectify the situation. Yeah. And you gave her a cop out. Oh, he's not around. He's not oh, around. He's upstairs. Or he's oh, he's not. You gave Again, him a pop so out. Go back so to he wasn't with you. He was not with you. Or doesn't be with you. Michael said he wasn't exactly. with you. Exactly. There you go. That does yeah. prove so. You're, most of the time when all these things are going on, which seems to be a lot of the time. Because you post. He's not there with you. Or mm-hmm. he's not around you. But even if so, the behavior didn't change after Queen. I mean, it went on the whole time. Yeah. So, clearly the behavior never changed. So, yes. Ugh, okay. But I picked it up anyway because I thought it probably could be important. And it was a CPS worker. It was a social worker. She was telling me that she went to Chris's house to see about CJ because she had got some complaints from some anonymous people talking about CJ was being exposed to all these things that he wasn't supposed to be exposed to and that it was on video and people could clearly see it. But I'm not going to go into that. But anyway, she said that she called me because she was concerned. They were saying that CJ wasn't there. All right. Now, on the whole tip of anonymous people calling CPS, some of the hate cult pages um, were saying, oh, Queen, it was Queen Naja Sands. Or it, it was ridiculous. Either way it goes, how do you know? Who called CPS yeah. in Texas anonymously? Yeah, because it's an anonymous number that you call. And even if the, the worker said that, you know, there's been like videos or, you know, maybe, maybe she's seen stuff that should warrant a call. And that's the thing people need to understand. That's why I said some of these grown people making these videos. Mm-hmm. And they're, I mean, you can Google stuff to know yeah. how things work. Are we? I think we've said in other videos that we come from a military police department background like our parents were in the military and worked for the police department so we know that there are whole departments in in the law enforcement that scour social media yeah scour youtube to see things that they can lock people up for Mm -hmm. that they can you so you don't know if it was even some team out there that seen the videos came across these videos yeah and decided to go do a welfare check on her own. You don't know. So to to put Queen Naja and the Queen Naja fans called CPS like that is so reckless. That is so reckless. Really? It's reckless. You don't know. You don't know who called. That's why it's anonymous. Oh, his dad was telling her he's not here anyway, so you can't see him. But at the same time, I guess some police had showed up to the door as well, separate from her. <laughs> And it was about to. They did it all the same. Then yeah. now, she's yeah, thinking, girl. Okay, so the child is not in the father's care right now, and the father is about to get locked up. So let me call the mom. By the- wait a minute. So CPS did not get called because he got arrested. He got a. The CPS people came out first, and then the police department. Yes. Came out on something separate. Yes. That's oh what what? Oh wow. Whoa! What was going on over there? Boy, Chris is living up in here. <laughs> Y'all, if y'all wondering how she got my number, I don't know how she got my number, but this hadn't been the only call, <gasps> you know, from CPS by CJ being over there. Like, this has happened more than once. More. So CPS has called her more than once, but she's seeking attention. If she wanted to be nasty and, and, and malicious and to do stuff to hurt this man's character... Besides him doing it on his own, she could have posted that up. Damn, CPS is calling my phone again every time CJ's with his daddy, Kristen Houston, living it up. Oh, my God. So this would even make more sense of why she would even put the post up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I asked you have Tiffany's number. She said, 
No, but she could try to get it for me. At the same time, she was going to try to see what was going on over there. So I asked. Just what we said. CPS, because by the point they got there, Chris was already saying CJ was with Tiffany. Therefore, there would have been no reason for the CPS worker to have the contact information for Tiffany because CJ was already gone. It wasn't a thing of like, even how we were putting it, yeah. like Chris called Tiffany to get CJ when he was being arrested. According to him, CJ was already with Tiffany. With Tiffany. So CPS didn't know nothing but the name of who CJ was apparently with. And Grandma, Grandma Siles, Sailor Silas, Sales, Sales, didn't know Tiffany. No, heard of Tiffany. Heard of Tiffany. Try Maybe met her. Maybe met her. But we're gonna try to figure out what it is. So the mama didn't even know what was going on until Queen called. Let me go over there and see what's going on. Okay, go ahead. I called Chris's mom back. I asked her, did she get any more information? And she was just like, she tried to call Dwayne and Dwayne didn't answer the phone, which raised a concern with me because that's her son. I would think that he would answer for his mom, you know, even if he don't answer Not for Dwayne me or anyone else. So I was like, okay, what didn't happen? Not sleepy Dwayne. CJ. Yes. So she hung up with he's not there, but I think he's there. But she felt like CJ was there. I don't know why she felt like CJ was there, but then that made me think, Okay, I think CJ's there too then. Get in the run around. Something. I don't know why. Because no oh, one right. knows CJ where is CJ is at. Me, but and no one knows Tiffany. No one knows Tiffany. Then she gets on the phone with the sister. The sister thinks that CJ's in the house. Dwayne's not answering the phone for his mama. Wait, but not little, not little Dwayne. Yeah, little Dwayne. 24-7 <laughs> Dwayne. <laughs> He's not answering the phone for his mama. But then she talks to Nettie, the sister. The sister clearly has spoken with Dwayne. And it's making speculation that CJ is at the house. No, exactly. So, uh, run around. And then the, the girl who's... The girl... Oh, God. Mm. See? I posted it because I was just like, okay, at this point, I need answers. I made that post because, you know, I know that a lot of my, my supporters help me out a lot. They are kind of like some little investigators. So, they could come back and tell me who this person's social media page is and I can DM them. Or maybe... Someone that um, is over there around CJ would see the post and call me or sorry, not call me because they ain't got my number, but they could um, DM me and let me know some information. But I deleted it because I was like, maybe I should just try a little harder first before I make this post. So that was the post and delete. OK, and then simple Nettie explanation me back and she was <laughs> like, we were talking a little bit. And she was, she was like, whatever you do, don't put this on social media. She didn't see that post, but she had just happened to say, don't put this on social media. But I was thinking more so of her um, saying, don't put it on social media that her brother is in jail because they know what people say and this and that. So that's how I was thinking. And I was just like, oh, no, I ain't going to put that on there. I don't care about that. But Now, what she's referring to, because Nick at Night released mm -hmm. text messages from Nettie. Where Nettie told Queen, don't put this on so social media. And Queen said, oh yeah, no, I'm not. That was another reason why they were saying, oh, Queen's a liar. She's a liar. Okay, she just explained what she thought Nettie yeah. was talking about. Because in her mind, I, I mean, honestly, I don't know why. Because she's so famous that yeah. she has to know someone was going to screen grab yeah, that. that yeah, immediately. You know, you, I mean, you got bloggers and yeah. these low budget, you know, YouTubers trying to come up on people's names. Yeah. That are like and, just watching and, and they get it, and quick. get it quickly. So it did get screen grabbed, but... Needless to say, she, no one seen, and, and that's the thing too, because I was telling you from when she put it up to when the blog started putting it up, it wasn't right away. Yeah. So it is a possibility that she could, okay, she could have, let's just say for, for Pete's sake, she thought that yeah. no one saw it because no one had reposted it by that yeah. point. Mm -hmm. So um, she thought Nettie was talking about telling the world that Chris was in jail. Yeah. Okay. So... According to some of the other T pages, okay, Dwayne, his video, he was confused. He he just was stumbling his words. He just couldn't get his thoughts out. Okay, so are we gonna give uh, Queen the same? But no, but the no, same courtesy. We can't we can't give Dwayne that because Dwayne had time. He woke up. He went and talked to a little baby that looked like it was a five year old in a bassinet. You know, like, no, don't post videos if you ain't gathered your thoughts and got your facts in order. But that's what they're saying is that Dwayne did. Well, he shouldn't have he, posted he, it, he was, His words were all jumbled together. That's or his the thoughts. Words. Well, Queen's looking for her child, so is it a possibility her words 
got jumbled, and what she yet, was thinking about got jumbled. Now, we, we end halfway into the video, but I wanted to see if she's going to mention some other stuff. Mm -hmm. What do they have to hide? CJ's with the girl Tiffany, then why wouldn't they let you in to see if he's not there? So then I'm just really, really confused, and I'm just like... I'm telling her, tell them that if they don't let you in, then I'll call the police and I'll send the police over there and they can check to see if CJ is there since people playing around and giving me the runaround. I don't know if she told them that right away or not. You see, little Dwayne didn't mention that, did he? Yeah, Dwayne. Little, little Dwayne little, didn't mention little, that little, because, little man. because mama wouldn't have known that, grandma wouldn't have known that, Nettie wouldn't have known that. Dwayne, who was there actually now, this gives so much background to why she was panicking. Yeah. Because at this point, this woman is is a third party coming to figure out where CJ is, and y'all won't even let her in the house. Yeah, somebody who who comes over to the house all the time, her kids are always over there, and she couldn't come in the house. Now I'm starting to believe CJ was in that house, and they were hiding him. They were hiding him because I think they could. So by this point, Chris is in jail, right? Yeah. So that clearly they were hiding CJ because they didn't. They were scared that Queen was, was going to come, 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 come and take them. There you go. Oh yeah, we can't let Queen know that Chris is in jail. We can't let you know whatever the case may be. It can't get out because that's why Daddy was like, "Don't put it on mm -hmm. social media." Like, why would you that know? be the? Why be the first thing Girl, you said? Like, this is ridiculous. Y'all, y'all expose yourself, Dwayne <laughs> and Daddy. Being that this has been mm. more than more than once or more than twice that this has happened and I always give the benefit of a doubt and I always get chances it's just that like I can't risk that happening you know anymore so mm. there will be changes made and I just wish that instead of you know people getting mad at me saying that I was just running to social media trying to ca cause attention which I really wasn't I was just trying to find my son that's all I cared about I don't Chris was saying I'm doing too much and but I just felt like he was taking it too lightly. First there of you all, go. Yeah. Anytime the CPS show up at your door, especially if you know that it's proof that they can see. Like there should be no reason why you got the people from the system coming to your door. People could lie and make anonymous phone calls, but if you give them something to say and if you give them something to talk about, it's like you're making it worse. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I'm not going to risk that anymore. People could say whatever they want to say about me doing too much but i really don't care i'm happy that cj is back well there we go there we have it guys that was clear and cut like honestly everything she said was if you would have honestly used your common sense that's what happened yeah and the fact that before she even said what she said it's amazing how many people who did use their common sense was able to say uh -huh. Th this is what I think happened and it is exactly what happened they exactly. gave her the runaround because nobody knew and instead of everyone mm -hmm. you want to hold Curtis accountable then Dwayne your video should have been yeah bro why didn't you tell us where Tiffany was you know this could have exactly. already been avoided grandma and and, and, and great grandma that should have been your video to, on, on Nick at Night is why y'all couldn't get in contact with the people that had CJ and why would Chris give Tiffany CJ to Tiffany I want to know like, how, long t how long Tiffany has yeah, that. like how long? That's my thing. That should have been y'all's video. No one knew where this. Oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. I'm making the camera y'all. The frustrating thing. No one knew where this little boy was at. Granny, Nettie, and Duck, and Great Grandma. None of them. All these cousins and all Not of that. Gma. Yeah, because she was talking to to Chris's mom and then the Chris's grandma. Okay. So CJ's great grandma and grandma. So it, that's my thing. Y'all want to hold people accountable. That's how you do it then. If you got to go on social media and make a video, because y'all shouldn't be doing it anyways. Y'all say y'all love Queen. Okay, then why are y'all even making videos speaking out about anything? That's so how you hold people responding accountable. responding to a post and delete that someone took a snapshot of. So by the time it probably got, got out, all this was right being resolved. Yeah. It, I mean, that that's what I'm saying. Like, it just makes no sense to me um, at all. But she cleared her. That's all I need to hear. Yeah. I'm not clicking on another hate cult video. Exactly. About what this... First of all, how do y'all know what somebody's intentions were? Yeah. Like, are we... required you if, to operate, to have the, the operation <laughs> of their mind. Yeah. Like, do you... Are you in somebody's mind to know what someone's intentions are? To call somebody a liar? This girl just said why she put the the, the post up and, and why she took it down. Who are we to say that she's lying? 
How do we know that? And if it probably, if I didn't have my situation go on last weekend with my son, I probably be like, well, you know, why she go to social media? But when you're in the moment, you are a parent, a guardian. Like I said before in the last video, when you cannot find your child after you have exhausted all options, and after the people are clearly giving you the runaround, people are clearly giving you the runaround. I'm calling people that I don't want to call, but mm -hmm. my son is missing. And like I said, it's a different. My son isn't is an adult, but at the same time, we have a thing where he checks in. When he didn't check in, I said something is wrong. So you think so, she can't even get in touch, touch with her with son him, yeah. at all? She she's telling y'all to put him on the phone. Nobody's putting him on, on the, the phone. phone. And then you can. She called Dwayne. He didn't answer, but then calls back with Chris on three way, but then doesn't call her himself exactly. until. The girl threatened him with the police. Exactly. Then you want to call then her. It's call just back. so good. The ghetto in it. In it. Like, and it, it was ready to fight. fight. That's it, what it was about. And Chris is probably calling, calling Duck Dwayne mm -hmm. to be like, oh man, well, Queen, some girl, Maya's here, or somebody, Queen that got somebody over here, this and that. Mm -hmm. Here, give, Tiffany got him. This is Tiffany's number. And I'm going to be honest or with they, you. Or, you know what? Tiffany, that could be, she could, I mean, you know what I'm saying? That could be somebody else. That could it could have been somebody else. And also, they could have been doing this runaround trying to wait for Tiffany to get to the house to get on the phone so they can coach Tiffany on what to say because they got CJ hidden in the house. Like, it's all types of mess. Either way it goes, it, you you didn't know where CJ was. You hadn't seen your son in a couple months. You finally get him. And then you, you, you do this thing because at that moment, for however long Tiffany has CJ, when you knew something was going down and you knew you were going to go to jail or the police were knocking at your door, you should have called his mother. I'm saying even if yeah. he would have called, he could have called the mom, he could have called Queen, he could have called Dwayne and said, hey, CJ's with Tiffany, this is her contact information, somebody call Queen and let Queen know because I know this is about to hit the internet and it's going to be mayhem. Exactly. End of, end of it. So... You guys let us know what you think, and we're gonna do try to do more reaction videos. So let yes. us know if there's anything else you want us to want us react to, to and give us our honest opinion. Yeah, so I'm being biased. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you guys in another one. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.